In this tutorial, we are going to talk about comparing fractions and we will learn the concept of common denominator and we will learn how to compare any two or several fractions. Let's get started. Uh, if two fractions have the same numerator, say 1 over 3 and 1 over 4, then obviously the larger fraction is that with smaller denominator because number 1 is divided by smaller number and that's why 1 over 3 is bigger. Uh, another example 5 over 8 and 5 over 9. Here because 5 over 8 uh, is bigger because 5 is divided by 8 and since it's divided by smaller number, the number 5 over 8 is bigger. If we divide by smaller number, the result will be bigger. Um, it was the case when uh, uh, numerators were equal. And what if denominators are equal? So if two fractions have the same denominator, the greater fraction is that with greater numerator. For example, 6 over 7 and 3 over 7. Um, here, denominators are the same. And uh, the bigger number is this number uh, because the bigger number is divided by the same number. And here the smaller number, here the smaller number is divided by 7. And here the bigger number is divided by 7. That's why if uh, denominators are the same, in this case we have 7 in both cases, but numerator is bigger. That's why uh, the fraction with bigger numerator is greater. Uh, another example. 5 over 6 and uh, 7 over 6. In both cases, denominators are the same, 6 and 6, but um, this fraction is bigger because greater number is divided by the same number. Uh, that's all. Another Another information about this comparing is that if we want to, in order to compare two fractions with different numerators and denominators, one or both fraction must be transformed so that denominators are the same. For example, if we have 3 over 8 and 7 over 12, how to compare these fractions, because denominators are different and numerators are different. And we have to transform both fractions so that uh, denominators are equal. That's why we multiply the first fraction by 12, the both sides by 12, and as we know, the result, resulting fraction will be the same. Why 12? Because here, this is the 12. So we multiply 8 uh, by 12 and 3 also by 12. Second fraction is multiplied by 8. The both sides, numerator and denominator, are multiplied by number 8. And that's why uh, we will have as a result uh, this fraction will be equal to denominator will be 96 and numerator will be 
uh, 36. And this fraction will be, uh, denominator will be also 96, but numerator will be 56. And now we can compare these two fractions. And of course, the fraction with bigger numerator is bigger because um, as we already know, the bigger number is divided by the same number, 96. Um, another example is, uh, uh, we also have to say that this uh, process when we when we find uh, this denominator is called finding finding common denominator Denomi denominator and 96 is common denominator um, next let's give another example and compare 5 over 6 and 7 over 8. Um, we multiply this, this side is multiplied by 8, both sides, and this fraction is multiplied by 6, and we have 8, 8, here we multiply by 6 and 6, and result will be 40 by 48, and here will be 42 by 48, and now we can compare, and of course the second fraction is greater than first fraction. Let us find a common denominator for three fractions. Another example, for example, we have uh, three fractions, three over eight, five over six, and two over five. And let's transform these fractions, the first, second, and first fraction, so that um, we will have an equivalent fractions, but denominators will be the same. So this process is called defining the common denominator for three fractions. Um, we multiply the first, first um, fraction by number 30. Second fraction we multiply by 40. And third fraction is multiplied by 48. In all cases, um, the value of fractions will stay the same. And we will have the first fraction will be 90 over 240. The second fraction is 200 over 240. And third fraction is 96, is 96 over 240. And when our fra fractions have the same denominator, we can compare any two of them. For example, the second uh, will be greater than the third fraction. And of course, second uh, will be in this case. And of course, the second fraction will be bigger than the first. And if we compare um, first fraction and third fraction, then of course, uh, third fraction will be bigger than first fraction. Um, but in this case, the common den denominator um, 
it's obvious that common denominator 240 was the multiplication of all denominators. The first denominator was 8, second denominator was 6, and third denominator was 5. And if we multiply these numbers, we will have 8 times 6 times 5 will be 240. And often finding strictly common denominator is easy, but denominator can be too big. We can find a common denominator, but it can be less than 240. And to do this, we have to use um, least common multiple. And if you don't know what is least common multiple of several numbers, watch uh, previous tutorials. And let's um, solve this example using least common multiple. Again, we have the same fractions, uh, 3 over 8, 5 over 6, and 2 over 5. And we know that least common multiple, LCM, of these three numbers, 8, 6, and 5, will be uh, 8 is, can be represented as 2 to the power of 3. 6 can be represented to, as 2 uh, times 3. And 5 is just 5 to the power of 1. And least common multiple is, we take here 2 with uh, biggest, with greatest exponent, it will be 2 to the power of 3, times, times 3, times 3, and times 5, and it will be 120. So a least common multiple of numbers 8, 6, and 5 is equal to 120. And um, we have to multiply the first, first fraction to number 15 to have 120. And the second fraction must, must be multiplied to the 20 to have here To have here 120 and third fraction must be multiplied to 24 to have here 120 and all these three fractions the value of them will be the same and as a result we will have uh, this fraction will be the first fraction will be um, 45 over 120, second fraction will be 100 over 120, and third fraction is 48 over 120. And of course, we can easily compare any uh, these two fractions. For example, the first fraction is less than um, second fraction, and if we compare second and third fraction, of course, the second fraction will be more than, will be bigger than third fraction. It was everything I wanted to talk about for this tutorial. Thank you very much. Like us and subscribe to see new videos on Open Math Camp.